So now that we have learned how to find slope from a graph, we're going to move on to finding slope from a table. Okay? So you've done this before. And what we did was find the difference in the y's. And finding the difference indicates that we're going to subtract. the y's, so subtract. Next, step two, we find the difference in the x's. So we're going to subtract again. Write those as change in your y over your change in your x ratio. And we're going to simplify it, but we're going to leave it improper. So let's look at here. Let's follow this step. Subtract your y's. Negative 2 minus 4 will be negative 6. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. 10 minus 16 is negative 6. So we've done step one. Now let's find the difference on the x's. Negative one minus two is negative three. Two minus four is negative two. Four minus five is negative one. Five minus eight is negative three. So we've done step two. Now for step three, we've got to write these as a change in the y value over the change in the x value. So we're going to rainbow eyes this thing. This y change goes with this x change. And these two go together. Here's the vertical change, here's the horizontal change. Change in the y, oops, I'm supposed to change my colors, sorry about that. Change in the y over the change in the x. Okay, so here, the y change over the x change. So it's negative 6 over negative 3. Then in the green, we've got negative 4 change in y over negative 2 change in x. Negative 2 over negative 1. And then we've got negative 6 over negative 3 again. Now if you will simplify all of those Negative 6 divided by negative 3, negative 4 divided by negative 2, negative 2 divided by negative 1, negative 6 divided by negative 3. Every single one of those will simplify. If you wanted to do it this way, you could say it's 2 over 1. And since it's a whole number, we could just write that it's 2. Either one of those is perfectly acceptable. Some other information that you might find helpful. Is the closer the slope is to zero. The 
the less steep the line. The farther, oops, <laughs> gotta love it. The farther from zero, the farther the slope is from zero. I guess that makes more sense. The slope is from zero. From zero, the more steep the line. And that's all we have for today for finding slope from a table. Thanks for listening.